M&Ms began production in 1941, when Forrest Mars, son of the founder Frank, encapsulated chocolate in a hard candy shell. After supplying soldiers in the war with a chocolate that wouldn't melt in the hand, it was sold to the masses. In 1997, M&M's became a retail experience store on the Las Vegas Strip. M&M's world was born. Fast forward to 2011 and the biggest store opened in London. The Leicester Square store has over 35,000 square feet of retail space spread over four brightly coloured floors. It's about 13 tennis courts of confectionery inspired goods and features the world's largest candy wall. 195 tubes of colourful candies driving one third of the store's turnover. 22 colours, four different varieties and an awful lot of merchandise. It attracts six million people to this store every year, buying 12% of all the M&Ms bought in the UK. Those six million people are taking photos, sharing them on social media. They've become brand ambassadors for M&Ms. And that's helped propel M&Ms into one of the UK's biggest selling confectionery brands. When the store opened in 2011, it was the 26th biggest seller. Now it's in the top five. And this store doesn't even stock all of the M&M's range. The store, which also has outlets in New York, Las Vegas, Orlando, and soon to reopen in Shanghai in China, brings the brand closer to the public. There are plenty of photo opportunities with the M&M's characters and the ability to personalize. Simply step into the booth, take a photo, pick your personal selection of colors, and watch your face get printed on thousands of M&Ms. In 2017, the London store alone sold 254,700 kilos of chocolate, and that's just 55% of the sales, the rest coming from merchandise ranging from homewares to gifts to t-shirts. In one day, this singular store welcomed 33,000 visitors, making it one of London's biggest tourist attractions. Not bad for a little sugar-coated chocolate that weighs less than a gram. Why did Mars decide to create an M&M world and not, say, a Snickers world or a Skittles world? Why M&M specifically? Yeah, M&M's is, uh, is one of our largest brands globally, well over $3 billion. Um, and we just felt that it was the right brands uh, with the characters uh, to really create fun and everyday fun uh, and really to, to tap into society and, uh, and culture. And I've, actually in many ways that was a, ahead of its time, uh, really having a, a retail environment for our brand to come to life. Uh, in addition, we, we created My M&Ms, so a really personalised direct-to-consumer um, proposition where you can go in and have your own M&Ms, your own colours, your own uh, pictures, your own uh, logos for weddings, for birthdays, and that's actually the largest direct-to-consumer confectionery business in the world. And that combination, uh, I think, gives us a really good platform for the future. Hello, I'm James Wright. Thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes, and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Life channel at the bottom of the screen.